Gude. So today on the healing bench, oh actually it's not healing but it was not in luck because it was implemented in the washing machine which died and so it has no use anymore because I scrapped the rest of the washing machine and bought another different model. Since I don't have any use for it, I will take it apart and we will see what it's made of. Here you see the, the leftovers from the washing powder stuff like that you can clean that and actually i cleaned it already but you see this is how it should look quite new and this is how it turned off to be after a few years how many years and i use this like five or six years when you take the washing machine apart this will be um, in the washing section obviously because it has to heat the water and this is the only thing that will stick out you can actually see it and service it so these are all the connectors you need, like power in, and this is grounding because it's in contact with water and stuff like that. You have to be careful. And this little guy, you can unplug the, the cable. And this funny guy that's poking into the water here is the temperature sensor. You see it's just plugged in there. And basically just a resistive element that changes resistance according to the temperature. We can, maybe you can check this out later. So what else do we got here? We have one screw. We have the rubber seal in here. And a kind of bracket. You see it's moving since the screw is not screwed in there. And the screw is attached to this bracket and in this now I'm just pushing it in out but normally if I tighten the screw it will push in and the rubber seal will expand and with this making it watertight and also fixing it in the washing machine and the way it works is that I think there is like a resistive element in here yeah, the power that is passed through it will work against the resistance and therefore creating heat. So one funny, funny thing is, you see, this is energy or electrical energy that's put in here. And this all is metal. So I want to see how they transfer the, the energy, the heat, to the metal without shortening it out. So there must be some kind of insulation going on here. Um, we have like a hint here as well because this is kind of is it plastic or what because here is the power and there's our top layer of metal and we have the plastic here so maybe it's no plastic yes not conductive of course so the question for me is um, how big is the resistance in here and we have Two hints for this it's like the voltage 230 since we're in Europe it's 230 and the watt is 1950 watts and with this we can calculate the amperage that is used in here which is um, roughly 8.5 amperage amps and with this we can calculate the resistance and it turns out that it's just uh, 27 point something so check again this is what you want to what we calculated 27.1 and get the leads it's working and put put the command on there and it's calculating Voila, 27.1, dead on, hey, I mean, okay, that's better. So now we are going to have a look at it with my universal opener. So we see something and what seems to be like a copper core. I took apart an old tea kettle before. It was like a wire going through. And it was insulated with kind of sand before um, insulated to the tube around. 
but this just seems to be like ordinary copper or maybe some special mixture for heating elements another interesting fact uh, the bracket actually is symmetrical so it doesn't matter if you put it in there this way or the other way it's just for ease of assembly because there's no second temperature sensor in here yeah but i think that's it and just as i said there's like a wire with some resistance which is insulated to the water i don't know what this material is give me some pokey stuff no it's definitely no plastic so yeah but you should recycle it so we can get i hope it's recyclable so that we can get the copper back Ooh. now we can have a look at the temperature sensor so we're at five 5.5 kilo at 22 degrees so now the easiest part to get this warm is to take open fire and we see what happens hello the resistance is decreasing Voila, this is the temperature sensor. I shouldn't cool it down too much. Okay, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.